and welcome to the first episode of Observing the Earth. My name is Jesse Rouse. I'm with the Department of Geology and Geography at the University of North Carolina at Pembroke. Now, this podcast series, especially the first 10 episodes, are supported through a grant from the North Carolina Space Grant Consortium. Uh, it was actually from the Informal Education and Public Outreach Program. Uh, the title, main title, was Putting the Digital Earth to Work. And it's built on this idea of Earth observation, this idea of what makes Earth observation important to us in our daily lives, and the sensors that the government and public organizations and private organizations are putting up uh, out there for us to capture this data um, and be able to use this data and create information from. So you may be wondering, what is Earth observation? Well, let's step back for just a second. Over the last five, 10 years, there's been a breadth of data put out there, uh, especially geographic data, that includes images. Some of these images are coming from satellites, some are coming from airplanes, but all of them, or a lot of them at least, end up in things like Google Maps, Google Earth, Bing Maps. A lot of these online uh, resources that we use every day to find someone's house, to help us figure out where we're gonna go for vacation, and you know any range of, of reasons we might be using these technologies. But what we're using whenever we see this, especially the imagery where we can see our house, where we can see our neighborhood, is Earth observation. It is just that. It is tools, uh, sensors, data that allow us to observe the Earth. Now, Earth observation, definition-wise, is gathering of information about the natural and cultural systems through instrumentation. These are generally at a distance. You have, uh, of course, airplanes and uh, helicopters with sensors mounted to them. You have satellites orbiting the Earth that are observing the Earth as well. And all of these different uh, sensors are up there uh, collecting information for Earth observation. But Earth observation is also closely related to another discipline of remote sensing. Now, remote sensing is the science and art of gathering data from a distance and interpreting the data to create information. Now this information, of course, is then used in the nightly news for scientific research for, again, Google Maps to help us understand where we are. So creating that data, like the road data, uh, comes from a lot of these Earth, instru uh, Earth observation instrumentations. Now the data that many of these sensors provide are images. However, there are others that measure distance, temperature, uh, even water vapor in the atmosphere. And so we're getting information about uh, the Earth's system, the atmosphere around it, and using that uh, through various means, uh, digital and otherwise, to get information, to create information. And that's kind of the key, is the ability to interpret the data that we're getting from these satellite sensors and these aerial sensors and share that information that's gained through the interpretation of these uh, images or uh, data sets. Now some applications of how this is used, especially for the visible imagery, uh, are things like land cover data sets. So understanding what is uh, where, so forest versus fields and uh, buildings versus water. Now what we see as land cover then can be converted into land use, getting an idea of how people, uh, how culture is utilizing the world in general and uh, look at interrelationships between the natural environment and the cultural environment. Uh, another type of application is climate change, especially whenever we're talking about things like water vapor or uh, land cover or even uh, the temperatures that we can get from some of these earth observations instruments. Uh, all of it kind of comes together to help us understand how uh, the climate around the world is changing and how different regions around the world are feeling that change in different ways. Uh, another application might be change detection, which of course ties into both of the ones above, but is very specific in trying to understand how over time things are changing. So uh, a great example that is often used is uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, where from the 1980s to now, it has grown tremendously, especially in terms of suburbs. And so there's been a lot of work to try to understand why there's been this type of growth uh, and looking at it through these uh, images 
from the last few decades. So looking at this over time as opposed to simply a snapshot of one instance. So these are some of the applications that are being used for the data that come from the sensors that make up this whole Earth observation system uh, that has been put in place again by private industry, by governments, uh, and you know who knows what's going to be coming in the future. Uh, and we'll talk about the different types of sensors, the different type of data that are coming out of these sensors in future episodes.